but UCD is involved with uh, alloy solidification and specifically looking at in situ monitoring of alloys, so real time observation of what happens during solidification of aluminium alloys. We took part in a parabolic flight campaign um, operated by Novaspace in uh, Bordeaux in France uh, under the umbrella of uh, ESA. So we were doing solidification experiments on board the flight. It's an Airbus A300 which goes through a certain trajectory. It's actually a series of parabolas. Uh, at the bottom of the parabola it's in 2G. That's twice gravity so you're basically stuck to the floor. But just as it gets to 45 degrees you, it goes into zero gravity and there everything floats including the experimenters. But during this time we were x-raying the crystals solidifying in a metallic alloy and we could see their suspension in the liquid. And then in 2G, when it hit 2G, they were whipped right out of the field of view. This is a part of the in situ x-ray video of alloy solidification that we can use to compare the same experiment on Earth and then extract and understand the effects of gravity on solidification of metallic alloys. The, uh, the experience itself is, is, is extremely unusual. I mean, all of your internal organs and everything are, are starting to, to float as well. It's just, it, it, it feels very, very unusual. But you get used to it very quickly, uh, at least I did. And eventually it just becomes something you, ha you have to put out of your mind because you're actually trying to uh, accomplish some experiments as well. European Space Agency projects are generally international and there are two scientific groups, one from University College Dublin and one from University of Marseille in France. And the, the equipment builders are the Swedish Space Corporation. Many metal components are made by casting processes like hip replacement parts or knee replacement parts, but also for pistons in engines and engines and turbine blades. So there is a need uh, today for improved quality in a range of cast products and the way that is often done is offline by doing computer simulations of solidification. In order to validate these models and make sure that they're actually predicting the right events are occurring, you need to do these type of experiments where you can actually see what's happening from the very early stages of solid formation. It's, it's really to update our theoretical and computational understanding of uh, solidification. They had a free floating area which was you know, luckily just lo located behind our experiment so we had kind of easy access to it um, and you could uh, as long as you know you weren't leaving your experiment unattended you could go in and float around for the 22 seconds of microgravity that you had so yeah there, there was a, a fun aspect of it as well. And I could float around this zero g playpen with one of my colleagues from Sweden and experience the, what astronauts experience. 